And we have another one. It's another dungeon type game, except this one is a little different. I discovered this kind of by accident. And uh, I ended up downloading the demo for my phone. Played it for like 45 minutes straight, bought it. And then bought it again on the PC so I could record a video of it because I enjoyed it so much. Listen, I'm just, I'm a sucker for games like this. Uh, it's Slice and Dice. And I will show you the game. But we're going to do easy mode, because I'm not really that great with this yet. yet. Um, this may be one of those games that people just do not want to watch. But it's a lot of fun to play. So there's a little tutorial here, and I know how to play the game already, but I'll explain it. Also, this is Dungeon Explorer music. The one thing about this game that's a shame, no music. So, Dungeon Explorer will, will work just fine. Um, so basically, each class you have here has their own dice, it's color-coordinated, and you have to fight some enemies, so, um, I'll give you an example. This is heal three for Acolyte. This is, um, one damage for the Defender. This is a bow, which can, uh, attack enemies in the back row, etc, etc. Now, these wolves are going to attack three of my characters with their dice roll. And, uh, the Warrior, Defender, and Acolyte are gonna be attacked because this attack... ...is Cleave. So, one damage on either side. Um, but I'm gonna re-roll the dice. I, I... Bear with me on this one. So, that's magic. Um... Let's see, we're gonna do another re-roll. Okay, so it wasn't the best re-roll, but that's okay. So uh, first, we're gonna use uh, the warrior's shield on the defender. So those yellow dots, that's where the attack will take place. And that's how much health the, cl uh, the class has, the character has. So um, defender will now attack this wolf. Thief will attack this wolf. This is magic, so now I have three spells. I could use Burst, Restore, or Slice. I can't use Slice yet, because I don't have enough magic, so I'm just going to attack this wolf. And this is healing, which I cannot use, because none of my heroes are damaged. Now they are. And that's a turn. Perfect mobile game. And the demo gives you, like, 12 levels, but you don't get all the character classes and stuff. So this dice right here, this is a good one. That's two damage. That's what those uh, symbols represent. So the thief will now do two damage. Um, we'll store some more magic. I'm gonna... Uh, defend as the warrior. No, you know what? I'm gonna re-roll. So I'm gonna re-roll. This is plus one max HP for the acolyte. So I'm gonna use that. And, uh, we'll re-roll one more time. Okay, so Acolyte will give the warrior an extra max HP. Okay, so you can see again, this is going to be three damage. This wolf got a three damage bite, but it only attacks one target. For the record, so this is your, uh, the thief's dice. This is their die. Uh, so it's got two attacks with sword both of which are two damage, one shield, uh, two arrows, and one nothing. So that side is nothing, unfortunately. But I think we're gonna kill a wolf. I'm gonna stockpile that magic. Not enough mana. So I can't use bur um, slice, which is one damage to all enemies, but I will use burst. Okay, so that's a very basic start. I think because it's easy mode, all of my characters have plus one HP. So here's a, a two shield, meaning it blocks two damage. This is going to be over anyway, so we're done rolling. And we kill the wolf. Now, this is level two of 20. And I get to upgrade a character class. It seems to be random, and it seems like each of these starting classes have a bunch of of branching classes. So if I uh, go for Glacia, 
I can get the chill magic. Pain, you take this take damage equal to this side's value. Plus three mana, but pain. Ooh. Two mana. Three damage and self-heal three. After you use this side, replace it with a blank this fight. So this character is kind of high risk, high reward. And uh, this chill spell uh, weakens an enemy's attack. So I have to choose between, do I want Glacia or a Soldier? Soldier is just like a heavy hitter. Good HP, lots of attacks, two good shields. I'm going to go for the Soldier. That, that seems safe. So now we got some rats attacking. So three damage. Um, I'm gonna re-roll all this. Two magic. Two shield. Still don't want that HP. Alright, good. So, uh, tutorial gain mana. So you just click to gain mana. So I could use slice right now. I'm gonna do that. That's just one damage across the board. This thief here... So, say I don't want the Adept to take 4 damage. I'm gonna look for the enemy that is attacking the Adept and try to kill it. So this archer, you see that blue arrow? That blue arrow is pointing towards the Adept. So I'm gonna use the Thief with a bow, by the way. There's the, the rows. So the rats are front row, archers are back row. Can't kill back row until you kill all the front row. Unless you have a ranged weapon. I just love shit like this. I don't know why, but I just... I think it's great. Um, I'm going to kill this rat. And I'm going to defend the Adept against two damage. And that's the turn. I only wish this had music. But I guess you can listen to your own music on your phone when you play it. That's only seven bucks, too. It's like, for me, this is the type of game I like. I think it's worth it. We go three damage, two damage, two magic. Perfect. So we're going to use burst on the rat. We're going to kill that archer. We're going to kill that archer. And there we go. So now we get an item. And there's a ton of items in this game. Replace the middle side with dodge and all attacks. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Replace the middle side with dodge all attacks this turn. So that just means one of your dice rolls is that. But it's the middle one. Big shield is... Replace the top and bottom sides with blank. So this is where you can see if you have a character you want to replace something with. At the moment, I don't. So I'm going to do a random item. Replace the right side with heal for single use. Alright, great. So now you go into your inventory, right? And I'm going to drag this over to the adept who has two blank dice. So each character has two item slots. So now I have, instead of a blank, I have this spell. Let us continue. These are boss boars. Acolyte is going to die. You can see everyone is targeting the Acolyte. So that, we need to fix. So Defender 2. Right, click one of your heroes to see their... Uh, yeah. Uh, this is going to be tough. Because I cannot kill one of these boars. Damn. I can undo an ability. Acolyte will live. I'm just going to kill the rat, make it easy. Unfortunately, the Adept has nothing. Got a bad roll. But yes, Acolyte is going to be quite fucked up. So here's an attack. This boar has um, two damage flanking. Hits, from the, hits the top and bottom enemies for two damage each. Uh, luckily, the Acolyte is not... So this is... Um, I have to use the side replace. So this is heal... At the moment, I have full HP on the Adept, so I can't really use that. I'm going to do a 3 damage there. I will defend the Adept. Some magic. Get that. 
and let's see if I can re-roll this one more time. Nothing, goddammit. Save a hero from dying by shielding incoming damage, so watch. Adept is now going to live. But the boar is dead anyway, so... Can defend the defender. Come on, give me a three attack. There it is. So burst three. Defend, defend. Max HP. Why not? Doesn't matter, we got this. Or is dead. Okay, now I can go from a defender to a cleric who has heal 2 and shield 2. Plus 1 mana. Right? But no real attacks. This cleric is, like, super defensive. Um, I'm gonna go for the medic. This is cleanse. Remove all negative effects. You've got regeneration. 2 mana. Renew. Set a hero to 6 HP. And you have, um, this basically, when it says cleave, you can heal three heroes at once, potentially. So, I'm gonna go for the medic. Alpha Wolf. Hmm. Okay, let's defend the soldier. Start attacking the alpha. And we can slice. And we save that mana for the next turn. And now that's going to hit three of my people. Thief, two damage. Uh, what's this one? Cleave. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Reroll one more time. Three damage and some mana. Okay, great. So we're going to slice again. I am going to... Defend the defender. Going to heal so that it heals those two. We're going to go for... Alpha... And then just wolf. Alright. Because the alpha can summon more wolves. It takes them a turn. Like, I'm not going to take damage from the alpha, but if I don't kill the alpha now, there will be another wolf. So, let's see if I can do that. Just have to get some good rolls. There we go. There's a good roll. Need more good rolls. Not the best, so, alright. I'm going to kill the regular wolf, and we'll just damage. So this is, um, cleanse, remove all negative effects, and heal three. So I guess we'll heal the soldier. Oops. I healed the medic, which is fine, too. And here comes another wolf. Now, before the wolf can summon, we can kill. Heal up. Kill. And we can do a burst. Burst that nursed. Do you think Fred Durst felt bursted when Limp Biscuit stopped being as popular? When you lose um, one of your class members, when your party members, they do come back after a turn, after the round, but they have half health. So that can be a huge problem. Replace the middle side with blank, but three max HP. Replace the right side with plus two max HP. Random item again. Longbow. 
Replace the top and bottom sides with two ranged damage. That's really good for the thief. That's just a direct upgrade. But I could also throw this on the defender. Here's the... Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. I was talking about this exact thing. When the part happens, I'll, I'll uh, show you. But yeah, Defender would be cool to have this bow, because that's that's a pretty nice upgrade. It's in a different key, but yeah. That's funny. Finally have found it. So this witch has an attack that looks a little weird. Targets the enemy with the highest HP. Mm. So the soldier's gonna get poisoned. can't use any healing right now. I can burst the witch. I just love dungeony type games with luck. Like, luck-based mechanics. I don't know why. Snake. Thief. We can double burst the snake if we need to, but we're good. Alright, new class. Defender could go to Warden. Ooh, the Evoker. This is beam. Three damage ranged. Can target enemies in the back row, so, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Evoker. You'll notice, though, that there are many missing dice. But we can compensate by going into the inventory. We've got that. And the bow. So now the evoker is a well-rounded character. Like, almost too good. Many rats. And beam is really good for eliminating single targets, it seems. can get some regeneration on a target. And hopefully... Well, yeah, some damage is good. Right-click an enemy with a passive to learn. Back row starts at the back. Let's see. Okay, so, um... We'll start with beam. And it looks like they're trying to fuck the medic up. So we'll get rid of one of those rats. I'll put regeneration on the soldier. I'll defend the soldier, even though the thief probably needs more defense. So I'm just gonna kill this rat. Again, again, you don't need the most- I mean, this might be boring for some of my audience, but you don't need the most graphics. Sometimes. You can just have a game have good, like, solid gameplay mechanics with a, a very simple, distinct UI and style, and it's fine. There we go. Some, like, basic gameplay ideas that work really well for the type of game it is. And just, like, a, a little bit of a unique twist. Nothing too crazy. But enough of one that I haven't played anything, like, 100% like this. Add ranged to the left side. Or Wandify. Add a single use and plus one. 
Add single use and plus one to the two right sides. Oh, okay. Add ranged to the left side. Go for random. Big hammer. Replace the two left sides with five damage, heavy, and blank. Shit. So who gets big hammer now? Hmm. Big hammer. It, you know what? The defender can get big hammer. Let, let's see how that works out. Means that I, I have less defense, but... Oh. Well, there's big hammer already. Heal 3 plus cleanse. I wonder if you can cleanse future stuff. Wait a minute, is this... Oh my god. I'm just now noticing this sounds a lot to me like One of These Days by Pink Floyd. Well, it did. So wait, Dungeon Explorer is just a bunch of like... Hey, we like this song, so... Yeah, it does work. So now the medic won't get poisoned. So five damage, eh? Insta-dead snake, that's awesome. will burst that snake's bubble. I have to make my Pink Floyd video soon. I might make it today, actually, right after this. What is the Pink Floyd video? Some of you may think to yourself. I, I don't even know. Just... Dad rock bullshit. <laughs> It'll be fun for me, though. Can't heal allies on full health. Okay, I can't use that right now. That's all right. Oh, that can be used on anyone. I thought that was a self-heal, but I can use that one time per round on anyone. Well, per combat. In combat! So this is easy mode. Yeah. Bard, huh? So, Gambler or Bard. The Gambler has a 5 damage attack, a 2 damage attack, or a 1 damage attack. But also a ton of blanks. The Bard has shield 3, shield 1 to all allies, gain 1 reroll. So, basically, when this dice lands face up, it just activates automatically. This is plus two mana, but replace it with a blank. I, I like the... I like the bard, but I'm gonna give the hammer to the thief instead. So, my party is just nonsense now. Gaitha, Margaret, M M Magrat, and Agnes. We need the big attack. Uh. All right, soldier. Ooh. So Bard is gonna get nice and sick. So I'm gonna go for Magrat first. Uh, I'll defend the Bard and the Medic a little bit. I'm gonna burst. Oh, you're immune. Never mind. Well, good news is you can undo that. You can use Burst as a shield as well. So I'm just gonna be careful. Activates for free when it lands face up. Target's chosen randomly. Huh?
Why didn't that work? Maybe it works differently than I thought it did. So this is cleanse. We'll cleanse the bard. Can only gain rerolls during roll phase. That's weird. I don't I don't know if that worked. The soldier is going to get fucked up. Bad attack. Mana. Oh, the big hammer. Nice. So I'm going to defend the evoker. I'm going to start attacking Gaitha. We'll heal up. So there's some mana. Uh, burst. Targets the enemy with the highest HP. Oh, okay. Okay. That, that's still good. Dead. Dead. Hell yeah. So we got here a new item. Plus one max HP whenever you save an ally. Or learn a new spell. Blood. Heal three. I just picked it up by accident. Can I undo that? Fuck. Extra monsters this fight, but I get um, many rewards. Start poisoned. Monster with the most HP starts poisoned. Seedling, replace the left side with two damage growth. It's plus one this fight every time you use it. Um, cursed bolt, after a spell is cast, one damage to yourself. Improve the two right sides. Sure. I have to fight a slimer now. Place the left side with two damage growth. What is the left side here? This is, uh... A bard that does not sing. After a spell is cast. One damage to yourself. Improve the two right sides. Uh. Hmm. I need something with two very strong right sides. And at the moment I don't have that. Monster with highest HP starts poisoned. So that's good. The soldier can take a little bit of damage for more shields. Let me try that. And the soldier also starts poisoned. Wow, that bard is going to fucking die immediately. Big hammer. That did some damage. Save the bard. Oh, I see now. The slime... ...separates into little slimes. It's like Slay the Spire. Slay the Slimer. Thief is going to fucking perish.
Save a hero from dying by healing them. Thief will live. Bard will die. Fuck. Oops. I didn't see that that was happening. Is this Synchronicity 1? <laughs> this music. It's like... ringing certain bells. I'm like, hmm... Some big attacks here. It's okay, I guess. Wow, I did it. So now um, we're upgrading the thief. So it's either trapper or dabbler. Plus two mana. Plus two da uh, two damage. Three damage. So this is a pretty basic class. Heal four. This this class does everything. Not really, it's got decent HP as well. Or the Trapper, which has got bows, it's got growth. Kill an enemy with four or less HP, ranged. Dodge all attacks this turn. Um... I'm gonna get the Trapper. Problem is, that big hammer is not gonna be useful anymore. Yeah, I don't want the big hammer to be lost. Alright, done for now. So yes, the bard is fucked up because of previous death. A death-related incident. Skeleton. I'll just continue healing or uh, shielding the evoker. All right. Uh, the trapper's taking some pretty nasty damage. Yeah, there we go. Big attack. I can't attack any of the back row enemies. I forgot about that. I was like, oh, I'll just kill the sniper. Nope. Bad turn. Not the worst turn. I can recover from this, but... Yeah. I do wish I had that thing that would attack all enemies, but we'll just burst and then kill the sniper with a sword. Very, very good. Mini crossbow. Replace the right side with two damage ranged engage. What is engage? I got it by accident because I didn't click the right button. It's a rare item. I mean, it's yellow. Two times target 
Two times uh, damage versus targets on full HP. Oh, it's just new. It's not, like, rare. Uh, I can give it to the medic. I can give it to the bard. I can give it to the trapper. I'm gonna give it to the... Bar medic for extra damage potential. Wait, no, you know what? Bard. Bard doesn't really have any damage options, so that would be perfect. Three magic. All right, good turn. Poisoned slime. How's that work? Not every slime is made of poison, one would imagine. I think we could do a little bit better than that. Kill an enemy with four or less HP. We can try that. Save my magic for another turn. Okay, magic. Remove the slime and remove the slime. Okay. Level three classes now. So, sorcerer, which has poison... One damage, poison, and cleave also hits either side of the target. Plus... Oh, activates for free when it lands face up. That's awesome. Uh, gain reroll and shield. You know what? The sorcerer it is. But I'm curious about this fencer. Three damage and self-shield. So you cast the shield and do three damage. That's really cool. Two damage rampage. This side can be used again if it kills a monster. Oof, that's really great. One damage to all enemies. I'm gonna go for the sorcerer. That just sounds too good. And we will not use that bow. That would be good. So now Soldier has two ranged attacks. Which class should start poisoned is the real question. Um, maybe I don't want that to be the case. Maybe I don't want that to be the case. Anyway, I gotta fight a lich, so these dice are fucking huge. So that's just magic now. And a shield is activated too. So, activates for free when it lands face up. So now the bard got a shield. Uh, unfortunately, the medic did not get anything. That was my bad. So no one takes any damage.
Hmm. Now, why didn't this work? Gain zero rerolls. Activates for free when it lands face up. Um. I guess it's just not. It doesn't always work. Minus one to all sides this turn. Minus one to all sides this turn. Oh, we have a curse upon us. I understand now. Plus zero mana. God damn it. Really not much of a turn. Unfortunately going to take damage. Hey, this is good lich fight music. Okay, so now I get a free reroll. This is petrified. Oh shit. Alright, uh... Kill an enemy with four or less HP. I'm gonna do that and hope I get... Oh, I got another reroll. There's some mana. That's a shame. Oh, we're not taking any damage this turn. Uh, what are you gonna do? Summon two bones. God damn it. We have a debuff, too. Alright. Get poisoned, Lich. The medic still has Petrify. I don't know if I can cleanse that. Oh my- oh my god! Dude, where are these- these bones is coming from? Bones! Bones! We have another petrified, uh, friend. At least the Lich is, like, well and good poisoned. That Miasma is saving this. Lich will almost be dead from poison. Yeah. Next turn, Lich is dead. This is gonna be a fucking terrible turn. Dungeon... 
Dungeon Explorer 2 music. That doesn't have that same charm because it's missing the crust, you know? Well, the lich is dead. I mean, the poison was going to kill the lich, but I, I didn't want to wait. Now we just have to finish off the bones. Who, by the way, do a lot of fucking damage. Okay, item. Add engage to the middle side. Growth sides increase all your sides. Get plus one this fight every time you use it. Oh, fertilizer, I think, would be perfect for the trapper. Growth sides increase all of your sides. I could also double growth. I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to see what a double growth build looks like. Fight some goblins. They want to open up a massage parlor, I think. Medic is about to die. Uh, we'll, we'll shield the medic a little bit. More bones have appeared. Bones, please go. Holy shit, there's a lot of bones. Uh, medic is gonna get fucking destroyed again. At least we're getting a lot of rerolls. Come on, I need one more mana. All right, it's fine. save up for Miasma for more poison, but this, this turn's gonna be a little tough. Much damage will be taken. Two miasmas. All right, I uh, need to heal. Do they die before the end of the turn? Like, do, I don't know if the goblin gets to take the turn. I 
I guess we'll find out. You know what? I don't want to take that risk. Oh, they get to attack. They get to attack. I had to kill the goblins first. That was my, my biggest mistake. And look what's happening now. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Soldier is going to just... die. I think that might be the end of the run. Damn it. Hmm. Or right, well, Trapper is going to be just fine. Rip. And there goes the run. Holy shit. It's a shame because now this does five damage. That growth build was fucking cool. Overgrowth, smelly manure. Growth sides increased by an additional one when used. Oh, I just unlocked an item. I get it. So that so there are unlockables. The more you play, the more things you unlock for later. I didn't know that. I'm going to do one more, because the game is very addictive and very good, and I'm going to continue to play easy mode, but first, here are all the character classes. Here are all the items. Bunch of enemies that, it's not a ton of enemies, but still a lot that has not been unlocked. On the Android version, I got to choose what easy mode was. Like, it, it let me choose a thing. So, I don't know. That's kind of weird, but anyway. That's the cool thing, is ex experimenting with different classes and, like, combinations. Like, I find that to be kind of fun. Maybe if I used a different combination of items. First class level up, you got, um, Druid. Growth. So the shield has growth. You get mana. You get heal, cleanse, and, uh, balance. One damage to all enemies and heal one to all enemies. That's interesting. Or Gladiator is the engage stuff, plus... You can, uh, damage and self-shield. I want to try the, the Druid class. terrible role that was. Oof. I'll 
I'll save up for balance. Oh, the Adept is going to die. Shit. Damn. We all live. Barely. Balance. Defend. Kill the Ratto. Kill the Archer. And hey, we're alive. That's all that matters. Okay, big shield. Seedling, replace the left side with growth. I do like the growth ability quite a bit. Warrior. This music does kind of kick ass a little bit, too. I wasn't sure about it at first, but now I'm sure about it. That worked out. And the swords have grown. Makes the little sword become the big sword. Even if you do lose a couple characters early on, it seems like, oh fuck, you know, game over, man. It's not. Okay, next character class. Spellblade instead of a thief. Poison. One damage, one mana, one mana. Engage, and this is imbue. Target ally gains plus one to all damage sides. Plus one. Ah, oh, um. Poison. Yeah, sure. Spellblade. Sounds good. Trollfoot. P H U T. Wrong attack. Wrong attack. Hmm. All right, so we're going to do, um, Imbue can only be cast once each fight. So Warrior can get the extra attack on the growth, so we just keep growing the damn sword, which is cool. 
And that's that's it for the troll. Self shield two on first turn for, uh, or burning blade. Replace the left side with four damage, but minus max minus two max HP. Minimum one. Yeah, I'm gonna get a random item. Replace the two right sides with blank and heal one regenerate. I guess that's perfect for the adept for the uh, for the moment. Heal one and regenerate. Sure. Yeah, this soundtrack is fucking cool. Dungeon Explorer 2. I might have to check this game out. I'm gonna look at it right now, actually. It's just a nicer looking dungeon explorer, pretty much. Which is to say, it, it's like gauntlet, but looks a little cheesy. Snake will die of poison. Poisonous snake will die of poison. But yeah, having all this extra mana is nice. Especially if you have good spells. The next level up for the Adept will determine whether or not we get good spells, however. I mean, this music sounds familiar too. There's even, like, shades of Final Fantasy VII in it. It's the boss battle? <laughs> It's obviously before Final Fantasy VII, but... Good fight. Alright, Glacia again. Chill and weaken. Um, or the Monk. I wanna... Pain. You take damage equal to this side's value. But three mana. Um... I'm going to replace that at some point. So yeah, Glacier. You know what? I, I can replace it right now. It means less mana, but I don't, I don't really care. It's fine. Hmm. Shield and plus one mana. Okay, so we'll shield. Yes. Uh, we'll attack. What's this? Quartz. Immune to spells. Okay, so we'll probably want to start attacking that. Should have. That's bad order. Because I could have upgraded the spell blade before attacking.
Damn it, I should have kept the sword. Ah! Three damage and self heal three. Okay, single use. So, quartz, dead. Which, goodbye. Should have kept the thing again. Oh no. <laughs> Barely alive. Yeah, I'm just rushing too much, which is causing problems. Mm. Uh, the poison is going to kill my spell blade. Damn. Or not. Um, Iron Heart, plus one max HP whenever you save an ally. Blessed Water, replace the right side with plus two max HP. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, who gets the max HP? I guess the Druid could use it. I'm not sure about this party yet. Need... Need a better class. So how are we going to play this? Okay, everyone's alive. But if we can get more magic... I can do the slice again and kill the archers, all of them. That is the goal. Damn, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Um... That works. That works even better. Alright, new class. Berserker or Cleric? Uh... Cleric's got mana. Shield with cleanse. Heal two, shield two, heal two, shield two. You know what? Cleric. We can maybe give the cleric an attack later.
All right, we're good. And Glacia is already almost dead. Immune. I would imagine you get some kind of achievement if you don't undo. Comes immune to damage this turn. Yeah, cannot kill. It's for the best to kill. Oh, Spellblade's about to die. Shit. Wait, no, I had enough magic for that. Okay. We live to fight another turn. survival turn. Was about to die, but we're good. I sometimes forget that I have a spell that can also shield. What's this? Heal two to all allies. No, we no, we can't let you do that. Rip. Okay. Adds plus one to basic mana sides. Yeah. Spellblade it is. Or the druid. Yeah, I think the druid would be the, be the better choice there. Since the spellblade has a whole bunch of other shit to fall back on. Rest in peace, Druid.
I can still do this. Luckily not a boss round or anything. Bad order? You bet it was bad order. Could have done something there that would have worked. Could have upgraded the thing and done the damage, but I just didn't see the opportunity and have and have failed. Alright, so either soldier or whirl. One damage cleave, shield one cleave, three damage, one damage cleave, one damage to all enemies. You know what? Whirl it is. heal at the same time if possible. Egg player strikes again. <laughs> Definitely take more of that magic. So we're going to shield. Use balance. Kill the slime. Shield. And shield. Good turn. Beautiful. And chill. Plus three max HP for a chainmail. That's pretty cool. Learn hack. All enemies' blank sides become four damage this turn. All, sorry, all allies' blank sides become four damage this turn. Or a chainmail. I want to go for the chainmail, I think. I want the whirl to be more, more tanky. Here comes the cleric about to get fucking destroyed. Do I have a debuff right now? I might have a debuff. Which is why this the spells are costing more. just cost more for some reason now.
Maybe there's a debuff. I, I can't really see. None of my characters have it. Maybe it's an enemy um, thing. Uh, oh, the ghost. It's the ghost. Are they doing one of these days by Pink Floyd yet again? They kind of are. A little bit. I mean, it's different after the first bit. It's just like a loose light inspiration, which is cool. But I, I kind of can't help but notice it. Could be wrong. Ah, oh, David Gilmore, guesting on the Dungeon Explorer 2 soundtrack. I think I'm gonna put that spell upgrade thing on the spell blade. new class. Uh, Kronos. Slow. One damage, weaken, and cleave. As opposed to ice. But also, target hero can use their dice again. Reroll mana and growth. Yeah, I think I want this class. But leader. Two damage, duplicate. Copy this side onto all allied dice this turn. Oh shit. Since this is a big magic build, I kind of think Kronos would be a good choice. Oh, a little bit of poison is nice. Rotten. I forgot to equip the thing where I wanted to equip it. No valid targets. Oh, um. That was helpful. That was extremely helpful. Yes, Kronos is a very good class. Two mana plus that. Uh, that, of course, we'll get. I'm good with all of these dice. Poison Rotten, real quick. Cool art on Rotten, too, by the way. I was hoping for another poison. 
damage we can cleave. Nice. What is this? All heroes get one minus one max HP at the end of the turn. At the end of each turn. What the fuck? Oh, that's what's happening. Oh, geez. Okay. summoned Why? Wow, I really need another turn to kill the imp. Anything is fine here. Chakram. Replace all shield sides with ranged damage sides, retaining their original value and keywords. Cracked, uh, cracked wheel is plus one reroll on the first turn. I'm going to do a random tankard. Plus one to all sides for each stack of poison on you. For each stack of poison on you. I mean, that implies one must be poisoned, but all right. I've learned the gobs need to go. Because the goblins get revenge and summon new things, so we can't have that. There we go. Dead goblins. Or they just get revenge. I'm not really sure exactly what happens. Uh, I didn't read... I don't know how to read. Awesome. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, level up. Venom instead of Spellblade. Or a Witch instead of a Druid. Tons of poison here. Triple the poison for all enemies. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm getting Venom. Salve is heal too. This is cool, too, but no, I think the Venom class. Extra monsters this fight. Get a shuriken. 
and replace the middle side with heal two. Cleanse. No. No, I don't want to do that. So I guess that means the druid can keep that. any poison yet. <laughs> I'll wait to you slow. There it is. The forbidden green croissant. Slay the spire strategy. Like I said. All right, the world is poisoned, which is good. survive this turn. Really, I just needed to survive the turn so that the spiker died of poison. Troll. Beautiful. Dragon Pipe. Add plus one to all healing sides. Add ranged to all damage sides. Or I could do random. I'm gonna do healing pipe. A uh, dragon pipe because my healing has been a little lacking. I think the cleric. Perfect, because there's also shield three. So that's that's really good on the cleric since the druid has almost become like a mana generator. Hmm. Alright, that's this is gonna be a little scummy. Not a great turn, but we're surviving.
need the the world to start spinning. Mr. Frog, please. There we go, got some spin. Cleric is going to die. Not now. Just needed a little extra healing. Yeah, this, this cleric is like extremely weak. Oh, that's just shields. Never mind. Next turn. Ah, more. Yeah. And we're fine. Good, good. All right, next class upgrade the stalwart. Who does not have any healing. But has like massive shields. Or the shaman heal ten. Damn. Plus five max HP. Heal two plus two mana. Growth. Shield growth and ritual. Heal one. Cleanse. Cleave. Sure. That means my MP generation is now kind of not great. So, Cleric, you can get that. And uh, you can also get... Now, Cleric can keep that pipe until I upgrade the Cleric, but the, the Shaman is good. Actually, very good. Place the right side with max HP. Perfect. Oh, that's... oh. That's just another max HP spell. Um... Okay. This is not the music for this fight. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just put some Chrono Trigger music on. about that right now that's, that's too much healing okay okay all right so we're gonna attack tarantus with poison twice and start killing some spiders
Again, not exactly the most appropriate music for the situation, but it's, you know, it's Chrono Trigger, so why not? Oh, what have we got here? Oh, very beautiful. Nice amount of fucking spiders. That's exactly what I was looking for. Beautiful. Cleanse that poison. And there you go, Tarantus. Enjoy. Oh, Mandrake unlocked. Good, good. Enjoy your poison. Oh! Jesus! Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. But holy shit. Unlocked a new thing for giving the shaman so much strength. Alright, good. You're dead. That's what I wanted from the beginning was whirl. I was going to try to end this, but it's fine. turn. <laughs> Alright, that worked out. Um, charged spell book. Learn a new spell. Shield 2 boost single cast. Or ogre blood. Add bloodlust and minus 1 to the top and bottom. I don't know what bloodlust is. I'm gonna get this. Add plus one to all damage sides. Gauntlet. That's really good for this class, I think. Probably even better than the tankard. Na yeah, now I just have that naturally. That's good. Five zombies. That was not the right move there. That was the right move. <laughs> Try 
Kronos about to get fucked up. Kronos trigger. Is heal four and cleanse. Saved the cleric. We we live to fight another turn, though I am worried about the next turn. We're not doing enough damage to these zombos. Good. All right. Uh, down to three enemies, and my health is pretty fucked up. Heal ten. We'll take that. Ritual. Heal Venom. Pretty much the best we can do for the moment. Just a moment, please. Um... Venom. Can still be done. Also, extremely unfitting music, but... It's Chrono Trigger, you know. go. New class. Uh, Barbarian or Valkyrie? Valkyrie shield duplicate. Copy this side onto all allied dice. Um, undying. Target ally can't be reduced below H that HP. Revenge damages all enemies attacking the target. Three damage. Or Barbarian which is um, pain. You also take this damage equal to this side's value. Bloodlust bonus equal to the number of damaged enemies. Death wish times two if you're going to die this turn. 
Um... Hmm. Uh, cleric? If I change the cleric, then I... Get rid of more mana generation, but I'm okay with that, I think. I'm gonna go for the Valkyrie. Plus one to basic mana sides, which I don't have anymore. One to all healing sides. Um, you no longer have any healing. Add one to basic mana sides is useless now. Oh god, here we go. I'm just hoping that the world can do some massive damage to all of these enemies. I need a good roll. We'll get revenge. Start with that. There it is. Pretty good. It's pretty goddamn good. Even better. Ah, Gonzales. Okay, so this protects from death. I'm kinda curious to see what that even does. Duplicate. Oh, every everyone gets a shield. Oh, okay. I understand now. I was like, oh, does it just give you an extra shield for later? That's like a oh, Hail Mary. Everyone's about to die kind of th thing, you know? Cool rolls. Tasty sandwich, plus one reroll. Sapphire ring, plus one to all mana sides. Yep, that works for that. Almost actually done. I mean, still easy mode, but might be able to do this. It's possible. Uh, Revenge. As much as I would like to hear this Chrono Trigger music, I might have to skip to the end. Because, you know, we're at the thing, the end of the thing. Oh, there's no fucking time codes here. Uh, do I want to triple that poison? Yeah, I think I do.
Okay, so that just doesn't even work. Saved. It's gonna fucking blow up the imp. Why not? I feel like there is slightly more fitting music for this. I can hear it in my brain. Petrified shit. Nice. And now I can upgrade the whorl. I have to fight a dragon. Oh boy. Um. Brawler or Curator? Curator, let's see. Five damage and pain. So there's a free damage there. This side can be used again if it kills a monster. Growth. And, uh, cruel. Times two damage versus targets on half or less HP. So this is just pure damage. Or, stun an enemy with equal or less HP than you. I feel like the other side, the other one has more damage. So we'll get the curator. Gonna need that extra HP though. Alright, here we go. that poison. Fuck. Oh, the archer's in the back row. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna need to use- Oh, God! I thought they would live, for some reason. Ah, uh, Jesus, fuck. Venom is going to die. A lot. Like a lot, lot. Like a lot of death. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I really fucked up, didn't I? I died by my own hand.
but the future refused to change. was fun new mode shortcut mode pick 50 percent of hero types at least once win standard on hard or harder unlocks new mode cursed so i mean again it's it's an android game it's a phone game that i think has a lot of depth and a lot of cool features it's simple yet there's a lot to learn and I think it's a really cool game, especially to have on the go, especially for the price. And uh, thank you for watching. Again, I know that me playing dice games, turn-based dice games, aren't really um, always the most exciting, but I don't mind. I mean, sometimes I just got to play some stuff that I enjoy, and I think this is great. So, yes. So thank you. Goodbye, and I appreciate you watching. And um, I would recommend this game pretty easily and even so there's a demo that you can play and it, it helps you determine whether or not you're you're into it slice and dice please games stop being good so that i can stick to one or two games fuck